Driving up and seeing my mom walk back to her untouched house the morning after the tornado is a blessing because right behind these trees, lives have been changed. Right across the street, um, our neighbors have suffered grave losses, and uh, we're going to walk up there. All that destruction up there. At present, two people are confirmed dead and 20 are missing. These are some one-level homes that were destroyed um, right next to Southampton Apartments, which were also obliterated. Um, it didn't matter whether it was a brick house, a wood frame house, one level, two levels, they all fell the same, And which is, again, why I feel so blessed that my mom was able to ride through this storm and come out untouched. And right up at the top of the hill, you see people moving back there. That's the lady that sold one of my sold one of my uh, dresses for the choir. She's a seamstress, but her house wasn't affected. But right down here, destruction. Tiffany, I think this right here is Tiffany's mama's house right here. It's uh, I believe it's this one. And nobody's out here. My mom is standing down here at Tora Williams' uh, house. Her sister Tanya is outside now. Um, but we went to elementary school together, and um, their house is one of the houses that I remember because it had these pretty white columns, you know, kind of like a presidential mansion-type front on it. And, that she had uh, made? Gone. Your mom had Those a maid for the house? Gone. I want to go and get it. Let me see. The American flag is still standing here. And here's my column. There they are inside trying to pick up, find what they can. While I am a bit traumatized by all that I've seen and imagined, um, I am a bit comforted by the words I spoke through my grandmother earlier this year. They go something like this. The will of God is the will of God, and you cannot direct the winds of change. But you can, however, adjust your sail.